Hi, you folks. Back in Scotland again. We're at the beach. We're at Kingston on. Is it Kingston on Spay? Yeah. Benji. Yeah. And we just had the two little kids in our car. They wanted to come in with me and Nanny. On the way back, they're going in Mummy and Daddy's car. And they're right, Shell. Hey. Chatterbox, isn't it? Oh, little fella. Yeah. Hey. Oh, no, you're going in your mum and dad's car on the way back. And it's your fault for putting them in here. You can all go in the car on the way there. Yeah, we can right, where are we then? What brought us to this place? Just now. Take you back to your roots, Kingston. Kingston, yeah, not Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah. Kingston on Spay. How are we on the boat? So Jamaica? we're here, folks. It's a beach set up here. Guys. Just have a little pan around and you can see what we're looking at here. Please, don't go. Yeah, not taking that, mate. There's mountains that. in the background, Ben. What are them mountains over there? Look, right over there. Sure. No, no. Come on, mate, come on, you're supposed to be tour guide. <laughs> kids, kids, stop shouting. Right, stop. George. Can they just have a mouth on each, please? George, George, George. Tracy, take control, will you? No. Go on, Tracy. Go on, what's happening? Have a mouthful. It's there. Parenting at its best, folks, look. Yeah? Now, what you've just experienced there, we've had it all the way here, me and Mummy, in the car. Yeah. Live with it. I live with it. George, I get how much I want. She gets to have some. What did I say to you when you made this did hot you chocolate? And you kept going, ooh, these hot chocolates are so nice. What? Don't make it known. It. And what have you done? You've gone on and on and on. Do you hear that, George? Oh, it now. Tracy, how comes you're doing all the parenting? Yeah, and he's just standing here doing nothing. Uh, I'm controlling the dog. Well, the dog looks like he's in full control. Yeah, because I am controlling him. That is why he is in full control. Nanny, we come up to visit this lot. Be nice. Come, oh, Come on. Dog, Can you sort the child out, please? Okay, sorry, mate. Stay in the car. Quickly. Bendy. Four, three, Cut two, two, one. Are you I'm not going to move back. Carry me. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Ben, you're involved for two seconds and you've taken control. Please, yeah. The dog and the Yeah. Right, we're going to get walking, folks. Try and run some energy out of these blinking kids. They're doing my sweeting. Your children, Tracy. <laughs> hey? Your grandchildren. Yeah, your children more. No, what is your What is your motivation for this walk? Ben? Nigel. Nigel, what yeah. about your wife? Well, what, what's your motivation, not your wife? No, not really. No? Ben, dog. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my motivation. Well. Yeah. Getting out of that car. <laughs> you, baby. You're my motivation. Yeah, I this is a mo up, up, motivation up, up, for going for a walk is to walk the dog. Oh, that's lovely. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's look at Tracy and go, ah, oh, let's go for a walk walk the dog. No. I go, oh, Nige, he needs a walk. Yeah. Let's go walk the dog. What do you reply to that? Not like you say, is there? No. You, oh, hello. You just keep the noisy children at bay. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're off, folks. We're going to have a little walk on the beach. Pebbly Beach, by the way. I saw that there's a tan over there. Look. A what? A tan? It's a tan. That's, That's Lossie. That's Lossie Mount, is it? Yeah. So how did it take us so long to get here? Hey? Oh, you went around the bloody houses, didn't you? Halfway, didn't you? You can't just go along the coast. You have to go down to Elgin, across, what? and back up. Bench! <sighs> what are you doing with this blinking 10 foot lead around our ankles, Benji? I'm trying to pick you up. Chad, do you want to put the keys in your pocket, love? Oh, horrible. Thank you. Yeah, it must be pretty nice having a house here. Look, just right at the seafront, look. Well, if you call it seafront, it's not a beach as such, is it? I wonder if that pond there is salt water or... What do you reckon, Tracy? There's swans in it. Look, swans don't go on the sea, do they? Yeah, this is a funny little out-of-the-way place, folks. Kingston on Spay, it's like a little village we drove through, Ben. It is, yeah. Nice. And uh, very small rows. Houses, old brick houses, and uh, little, no gardens to speak of as such, is there? It's like a little tiny little village sort of thing. It's nice. Yeah, and there's not a, not a bit of wind in the air today. Yeah, this is nice. And in there, only Tracy. Yeah, he's in. He's in there. Look, he's thrown that right down there, folks. Right down that hill, look. There's the other one. Oh, look, he's paddling, he's doggy paddling, look. How can you throw it right down there, Ben? Hey? It's, and get him in the water. Yeah, but look, look at him, look. Oh, love him. No, no, come here. He's, lo he's launched it. Go on. Go, go, get, go, it. go get it. 
He don't care, does he? Look. Oh, I love him, look. <laughs> Yay, good boy. He's out of his depth there, boys. Cool him down. <laughs> good boy. Come on in, Nige. Come on, Nige. There we go. Where's he coming? Here we go. Good boy. Go and shake over them. Go on. Oh, no. <laughs> no, he's had enough of that. Nudge, come here. Hey. Come Put him back on. Put him back on. Look at Nanny all down there on her own. Look. Philly Jiddy. Hey? Philly Bit of education for you now, folks. You know what this stuff is, first of all? See that grass there? Look, this high grass here. Sharon, do you know what that's called? Campus. Tracy, what's it called? Do you know what it meant in the 60s? I do know what it meant. What does it mean in the 1960s? It meant he was a little bit of a swinger. Yep. And I don't mean from a tree. <laughs> no. Any house with pampas grass outside in the 60s used to mean they were swingers, if you know what that means, folks. Bring your car keys. Throw your car keys in the old uh, fruit bowl. Fruit bowl. <laughs> and then... Hiya. Hiya. Hello. And then it's a free for all. And houses where had pampas grass outside, that was a little visual indication that they were probably swingers. I don't think it supplies now. Well, I don't think it does now. I hope not. I've got you Unbelievable. Yeah, that's what that meant. You swing from branches like Tarzan. Yeah, swingers like Tarzan kids. That's a swinger. Now, look, kids doing a bit of foraging. See, you don't see this anymore, do you? Where kids do foraging and things. Look, little blackberries there, look. Do you want some more? Pick them carefully, kids, because of the old, uh, so the nettles. This is hang Bit of foraging. We got some a couple of weekends ago, didn't we? We made a pie. No, yep. a crumble. That's what we did in our garden, Tracy. Oh, we had to get, we went by the golf course, didn't we? And we've just given you quite a lot of our plums, Tracy, haven't we? Off yeah. of our tree. Me and Mummy. They are disgusting. Already, yeah. And when we went to the uh, dog pound the other day, folks, me and Sharon, loads of apple trees there. Fantastic. Okay, this way, guys. Right. You got your phone on you, Tracy? I do. Right. This, this is a thing we do, folks. When we're out in the wild, we'll do a Google lens on something which we don't know. For example, this flower here, I don't know what that's called. Right. So you get your phone out, Google lens. Here we go, folks. Look. And it, t it should tell, hopefully tell us what it is. What is it? Oh, it's a beach oh, rose. Oh, it's a beach rose. Look at that, look. How oh, about that? that? lovely? And those of you who don't know what Google Lens is, go back to Google homepage. When you go to Google homepage, folks, mm -hmm. you've got that little menu bar. You've got a little microphone and a little picture of a camera next to it. So when you press that camera, you activate Google Lens. Now let's come over here, Tracy. Look, because that I want to know what that is. So you get that in the frame, press click. And let's see what that comes back with. It's not always right. Oh, it's oh, it's a rose hip. There we go. It's a, that's a hey? rose hip. Yeah, it's very funny, Tracy. <laughs> anyway, have you said hello to VJ today? I haven't. Hi, VJ. How are you today? Yeah, he's all right. He's in South Africa, by the way. How do you know he's all right? <laughs> <laughs> you go this way. Yeah, so if you're out in the wilderness, folks. Oh, where's another one, Tracy? Look. Well, I think we might know what that yeah, is. Yeah, all right. Well, let's see if Google knows. That's these little things here, folks. Oh, you've got to give it's me a It's not correct all the time, so we find Google Lens again. Here we go. Let's Take a picture of it when it focuses. If you touch the screen, you find it focuses. Oh, does it? Or not? Well, Let's... that's it. Take a picture of that. All right, calm your beans. Right, what is it? Oh, look, a creeping thistle. A creeping thistle. Now, I wouldn't have known it was a creeping thistle. So, oh, you've learnt me something there, or you taught, taught. me something there. Taught. Goodness me. This is what happens when you go out walking with a school teacher, folks. Well, it's just speaking properly, isn't it? I've spoke proper all my life. I spoke proper all my life, love. All right. Anyway. Hey. Look at the way your mother swings her arms. Look, she's like a mannequin. <laughs> you do that. She's the, she's like the old cockney bling. What's that walk? Me old yeah, that's how she's walking down the beach like that. Look. <laughs> <laughs> over, over in the distance. <laughs> she is funny, your mother, Tracy. Uh, what was it? Oh, should we tell her about huh? her funny? Oh, what? So, the BT man. <laughs> What was it about a BT man? So the other day we had a BT man around. Ben, ben was at work, kids were at school. Yeah. And um, blokes fixing the whatever he was Telephone fixing. line. Router thing. The router, yeah. yeah. Router um, actually. Router. <laughs> um, and then my mum turned around and went, Trace, I'm going to go for a shower. Is that all right why he's here fixing that? BT man, not BT a plumber. Man. BT man. <laughs> BT man. <laughs> no yeah, comprehension. I think you'll be fine, mum. <laughs> of what a BT man does. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right. 
Come on, sausages. She's lovely. How did he get down there? Who? Your husband. Is it down there or further up? Is that? Can we get through there, huh? I can't see your mother jumping down that way. Don't have them too low down because doggies might have peed on them, guys. Right, yeah, we'll walk down this way. We'll see you in a minute, folks. We're just going to get onto the beach. Here we are on the beach. What's that you got there, baby? Let's have a look. Let's have a little look. What is it? I've got a cartridge. Show me that. Oh, that is. Yeah, that's a spent one. Oh. That here looks like a, a piece out of. Oh, I don't know. It's a. Bike? That's a brake mechanism thing there, isn't it, folks? Look at that. Oh, I can't quite make out what that is. There's some sort of arm there. This is a bullet. What's that? Don't know. Yeah, look. Some sort of mechanism. Is this a bullet? Interesting. Heavy, of course it's heavy. Shotgun cartridge, yeah. Uh oh, I just broke it. That's alright. Well, I think it's been broke before you, Tracy. Shotgun shell. Coming in. Yeah, don't go picking about everything you fight, see, Sharon. You're not litter picking. Yeah. Fancy living on this on your doorstep. Look. Superb. Ah, oh, what have you just seen, Sharon? Seal. Seal out there. They're not going to be able to see it. I can't see them from here, yeah. There was just a grey seal popping its head up and down over there, folks. Where's he gone, Trace? He's gone. Well, he's gone under the water shell. Tim. Yeah, this is renowned for also dolphins as well, isn't it, apparently, Tracy? Apparently so. That's what Brain said. Well, yeah. a li they're dolphin in a lot of them. The... Oh, is that with the dolphin? Dolphin Bay at where? Over there. Oh, the dolphin Bay. Where's Dolphin Bay? Bay. Yeah, Dolphin Bay apparently is right over there somewhere, folks. So, uh... It's a dolphin centre. Eh? It's a dolphin centre. What, What? you go see dolphins in under... No, it, it's a part of the sea where Thank there's... You, Right. Always dolphin activity, but there's a little centre with some information about right, dolphins. Right, okay, nice to know. Little it's free, little activities for the kids to do, yeah. make some magnets, well, a magnet. Well, we was on the beach a second ago, and now they're in a blinking playing park here, look, just off of the beach. So what was it it's called, Kingston upon Spay, isn't it? This place. Kingston you just, on Spay. Kingston on Spay, which is like a little, very little village. Yes. And what do we know about it, Tracy? It's a coastal village, it's in... Uh, Murray in Scotland, the yeah. county of Murray. It, but it, it apparently was founded in 1784. There we go. It was named after um, Kingston upon Hull. Yeah. And um, what I didn't realise, the golf course we played over the last two days, me and Belle, mm -hmm. Belle, Ben, Belle. <laughs> me and Ben, well, <laughs> Belle is dafters of Belle. Uh, it was actually spelt Murray, M U R R, no, M O R E Y. E Y. And I said, is that Moray golf course? And it, apparently it's pronounced yeah. Murray. It, it is, Ma yeah, I used to call work Mur the Moray Council, but it's Murray. Yeah, so yeah. I think that's just a local thing, though. Because it's spelt Murray. No, it's spelt Moray. You know, like a Moray Hill. Spelt like that. Spelt Moray. M O R A Y, isn't it? A -Y, yeah. yeah. There you go, just a bit of trivia. Yeah. I can't see no more dolphins and. Uh, we might see some a bit further up. What are they called? Sea seals, seals, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, interesting, folks. Named after Kingston upon Hull. Kingston upon Hull, which is in uh, East Yorkshire. Thames. East Yorkshire, yeah. Apart there, from right? Kingston upon Thames, which is in London. Well, that's not Kingston. Well, it's upon Sur Surrey, Hull. actually. Sorry. Kings yeah. Kingston upon Thames. Of course it Hull. is. All right. Good point, baby. Look, this fence has been put up here, folks. Look, just around here because this is obviously eroded away. So I can imagine this bench at some stage was part of the bigger area. And now it's nearly on the edge of falling into the sea, look. It's not the sea. Isn't it? Yeah, well, it'll be, yeah. It's erosion, erosion, George. Yeah. So it's, it's encroaching, Chow, isn't it? Yeah. Look, coastal erosion, uneven ground. Yeah, we're going home tonight. No, tomorrow, baby, yeah. aren't we? This Coast is our last week. day. We've been up here about four days, folks. So um, obviously we didn't do a video during the week because of uh, the Queen dying or passing away. So um, that's, that's the reason why we didn't put out this uh, Sunday vlog last week. So... Uh, but we thought we'd still do some filming anyway and uh, bring it to you. We're up in Scotland, we're the Queen. Yeah, bring it to you the week okay. afterwards. Right, let's carry on. There's one of the old wartime uh, lookout posts. No, 
right. and there would have been a whole wall all the way along there which is still there in bits you can just see the posts along there come here darling and uh, also further down there you can just see them along there <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hey? it's falling come on mummy help you come on in mummy help you up there James Do you imagine how many soldiers would have been in here? Look, and now it's just full up with uh, rocks now, look, over the years, look. Oh, hello. Hello. You're going to pull your son up. Go on in, up you go. <laughs> Stand up, James. Up, ready? Stand up. Put your feet up. Don't you want to go up? Don't you want to go up? Do you want to go on the roof? Do you want to go over the dark? If you stand up then, he's going to lift you up. No, 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 no. He will help me down. He will, he will help you down. Stand up on here with your two feet. You can't. He was a third. He literally just climbed up that bit of stone there. Oh, oh, up. Mind your knees. That's it. Oh, Happy oh, day. <laughs> you going up? I am not. I'm <laughs> legging it. Go and sit with your mother. What have you done that for? Go on, action man! Oh, he's agile! Here we are at the assault course. Come on, Sharon, quicker. Go on. Run, Sharon, run. I'm not going to speed it up, no. You do it at normal speed. Tracy, off you go. I can't do this, I'm clumsy. Come on, have a go. It's a assault course. It's like it's a knockout. Right, ready? Mummy, go. Go fast, 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 fast. In, out, in, out. Now you've got to go. Come on, follow your mother, look. Oh, just step in slow. Your mother avoided that one. Up and down, come on, up and down, up and down. See if you can overtake your mother. Oh, yeah. Coming up, you're you playing your joker, Tracy. Are you playing your joker? Come on over there now. Come on, children, you go first. That's it, keep going. Hold on, Shao. Come on, Tracy. Keep going. Keep going, Tracy. You're doing a great. Oh, hello, hello. Fail, she's falling off. Never mind, Tracy. Jump down. Nanny, come on, do the bars, Nanny. Come on. Come on, Ems. Off you go. Go. Go on all the way. Drop. If you can't do it, drop down. Come on in, Tracy. I can't lift you. Go on in. Can you go across it, George? Go on in. Go. Oh, they span a little bit then, didn't they? They rotate. Yeah, Try it. Go on. Go on, one to the other one. And the next one. What's that all about? You pull something. Go on, Mum. Mum. I think they rotate, don't they? Oh, yeah, that's a bit loose as they rotate, don't they? Go on, baby. Do one. No, no, there you go, baby. You pull your shoulder. There you go. That didn't last long, folks, did it? Tracy? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Unbelievable. Hey? Come here, let me rub it. Oh, it's just there. How's that? Oh. Unbelievable. Yeah, you've got to be careful at our age, folks, when you're doing strenuous exercise like that. You're stretching things you haven't stretched for ages, Sharon. Well done, baby. Come on, let's go. Enough of this tomfoolery. Hello, I'm going to 
to send my daughter up the Teletubby hill. What? There you go. Oh, oh it is, isn't it? That's like the Teletubby hill. Shall I go stand on there? You're the only one in Teletubby colour. Yeah, go on, go stand on the Teletubby hill, baby. What, uh -oh, po. what one can she be? Poe, the red one. Poe? Hello, Poe. Poe, turn around. Poe. Poe. Po. Oh, here, look. There she is. Hello. <laughs> Teletubby. Teletubby. you got to lay down and you... you <laughs> lay down, baby. No, lay down on the hill, like the Teletubbies used to do. And then I've got to look at your belly. Lay down flat. Right, now go, eh -oh. Go, eh -oh. Yeah, go into your belly. Look, you've got YouTube. Tracy, you're a plank. You got the ball meeting. Mummy! Yes. You're the purple one, get there. Come on, Nanny. Come on, Chinky. No, is it Poe? Come on, Poe, roll over. See if you're fit for me. Roll over. You got what? Here, we're in the. Look, come on. Can't get, out, can't get out there. Come on, kids. So we're just a little bit further down the coastline, folks. Look, right here, and then we've got this here. Look, obviously this at some time must have uh, been trees all along here. Look, you can see where they was further up as well. That's an actual tree. Look, it's eroded. Amazing. What's it called? What? Erosion. No. What? The one. That comes off a tree that's really good for start helping start fires. Oh, beechwood, driftwood. No. It'll come to me. Flotsam, jetsam. What is that? What you're thinking about? No. Hey. What are you doing? Google Lens in it again? Yeah. No, it's, it's beechwood, Tracy. Surely driftwood. It's what you're thinking about. Driftwood. No. Sorry, that was me. That was a fly in my face. Of course there was. Yeah, it's not really fair. Anyway. No, there you go. I can't think of what it's called. It'll come to me. I'll tell you. Onwards and upwards, folks. Ben's seen a wooden structure down here. He wants to go and visit. That's why we're walking along the beach. Well, call it a beach. Calling along the um, <coughs> seashore, I think you'll find. Right, see you in a minute. What you found, baby? Huh. What is it? A fossil? Is it? I don't know. Is it fossil? Don't know. There's the fossil. <laughs> see you, what? You leave your mother alone. Google lens, don't we? What, you, what, 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 you won't Google lens, actually? Silver. Look at this stone. What's that? Silver. Look. Oh. That's all glistening. That's mother of pearl in it, isn't it? It's shining away there, isn't it? It is. It's what caught his eye. Fool's gold, Sharon. Fool's gold, folks. What's gold? It's not gold. It looks like gold. It's ore. People used to find it when they used to mine for gold in the in the in the, in the, in the um, 1800s. Long time ago, George. Right, here they are down there, folks. And coming around here. We've had to walk about a mile to get to this thing. This looks like someone's built a little outpost out of driftwood on the beach. Look at it. <laughs> look, someone's built this out of driftwood, look. Look at this. Come to see me. Clever, isn't it? It is quite good isn't it? Oh it goes back a fair bit as well. Yeah. All totally driftwood, folks. Look at this, look. I've got a little camping area in there. Sinking area. Look. Come around here. Oh, going on the lookout. Look at this. I wonder how long this has been here, look. Little barbecue that someone's made up. A little seating area. Oh. That's a little um, display of rocks that people oh. who have been here, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, look at their names Look at this, look. Pretty recently, look, someone's been here. How about that? There's a couple of beds there someone's made up. Be careful James, we don't know how safe it is. And uh, an old fisherman's basket there, and that. George! Yeah, I wonder if people could put live like this on the beach, couldn't they? George! I know it's not waterproof, but... Uh, shovel. Yeah. Shovel. yeah. Oh! Yeah. A What's that say over there? Kingston Beach Hut, look. People put little keepsakes in there around this area by the looks of it. And also up on this little shelf here. Whoa. Little things, like little trinkets and stuff. Don't touch none of the stuff here, folks. Why? Well, people have placed it there for a reason. And you've got an old tyre there, which is a, a little porthole window, which is held open by that stick there, look. And then going through to there, 
Looks like some sort of little garden through there, look, outside oh, there. Side. Oh, just be careful, just be careful. Yeah, very good. Any of you out there know how long this has been here? Leave a comment below. Where's this? This is on the Kingston upon Whoa, Kingston on Spay. Kingston on Spay, Ben. Kingston Come and have a look in here, look. Is this an Airbnb? Yeah. Airbnb, yeah. Look, there's a little display point over there, look. Do you like it? I love it. Oh, there's the bed. Double bed? No. One day. Yeah, we're now. Oh, look, there's a dog's collar there as well, look. Who's the look. There's a little Kingston Beach up thing down there, look. Dog guys. There's lights. You leave your little trinkets when you've uh, been here. Yes, I oh. Little little crab claw there, look. A bottle of wine. There you go. How many people have been in here, eh? Yeah, we've walked about a mile to find this. Yeah. You have been here, you've been in here? Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah, I like it. Oh, I like it. Bed. Come on in, folks, let's go. Yeah. See you a bit later, folks. We're going to make our way back a mile walk to get back to the car now. Tracy, that's the one I built. That's the one Ben built. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Hey? All right, Governor. All right, mate. Right, we've only got about a mile and a half walk now to get back to the car. Hey? Yeah. Eh? yeah, but the car, we can see the car there, look. Yeah. But we've got to go right down there and go over that way for about a mile. Because Ben wanted to come and see that. Anyway, we're going to leave it here for the moment, folks, because uh, we've got a long walk ahead of us and I'm running down on battery life. So we'll see you a little bit later. Bye for now. Right, we're back at home, folks. We had a fantastic time up in Scotland, baby, didn't we? Always do. And hope you enjoyed it with us. Anyway, we've got a few super thanks to say, uh, and we also got a little gift as well, which we'll show you in a second. So, what's the super thanks, baby? It's to Leyland Job. Thank you, Leyland Job. Mr. John Parrish. John Parrish, I think he he gave us a super chat a while ago, John, but I think I forgot to um, say thanks for that. So, thanks again, John and Sherry. Sherry, yeah. And what else have we got to say hello to someone? We've got to say hello to Kelly and Michael Patton and their son Luke watching from Australia. So we go, good day. We're global, shall we? I bet they ate that people <laughs> too. <laughs> and we've also got a gift as well. So we've got a letter with the gift, oh, yeah? And I've still got to thank Mark and Lisa Clemming. Oh, right, OK. Thanks very much, Mark and Lisa, for supporting our channel. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. And we're nearly, I've just checked just a minute ago, and we're two people off 9,000 subscribers. Wow. I'm loving it. Thank yeah, you very absolutely much, fantastic. everybody. And we are trying to pump out the content, folks. Three videos a week and one on the weekend, which is our Sunday vlog, so that you can see what we get up to during the week as well as, as, as a family. Fingers crossed today we hit the 9,000. Right, so we've got a free gift here. I'll show you that in a second, folks. But who's it from, baby? This uh, is from Sarah uh, Gary. Right. And they sent us a little message saying after watching your tube, youtube video making a pie with bread i thought this could be of use to you you don't have to use fins just buy normal bread as well cut the crust off which we'll go through in the ad the show and i've also seen people using pastry and making apple pies etc there's an idea yeah and can i say sarah you have my sympathies with Gary. Why? If he's got over 100 lawnmowers in the garden. Because of watching my Retro yeah. Restore channel, which is my other channel where I do See, fixing stuff. Gary, there's no time to play with Crimpit. <laughs> Get them lawnmowers out for Sarah. And oh, and hello to your granddaughter, April. And this is what they've actually sent us, folks. I've never heard of it before. I haven't. It's called a Crimpit, and um, I think it's a way of doing toasted snacks. Now, we've had a look online, and we've seen a few people do them. And a lot of people seems to do them in a normal toaster, right? And they put them in a the toaster. And of course, they're only small. Let me just show you. Can you have a guess what we're going to do as? Yeah, we're going to be doing it in the air fryer, folks. And it looks so good when it's done. Well, no, I haven't seen anyone do it in the air fryer yet. You can do them in an air fryer. You can do them in a... I'm having a bit of trouble there. I can't get it out of the box, yeah. You hold the box. You hold the box. You hold the instructions. And basically, this is it. It's a little plastic device. I've never seen it before. And... You put a thin in there, which is called a thin, which is oh. a Warburton's making, Sharon, I think. Actually says you can toast, you can grill, fry or air fry. Yeah, it does say that, but I haven't seen anyone no. yet with the videos I've watched do that. They've all put them in the toasters and basically they're called thins. They're little square pieces of bread. You put one in the bottom there, you press it in, uh, you, you then put your filling in, whether it be a savoury filling or a sweet filling. And then you get this thing, which has got like teeth on it. Uh, you put the other bread on top of it, the thin. 
you can press it, push it together, and it makes like a little pat it pasty. It crimps it, crimps it, it crimps it basically. And then with that, you can put it as I say, I've seen people put it in the air fryer. And I did see one no, chap. I haven't seen nobody put it in the air fryer. Not in the air fryer, sorry toaster. baby. Put it in the toaster. And the trouble with that is it cooks the outside, but the insides just look normally lukewarm. So we're going to be doing it in the air fryer. And we thought it's such a good idea because a lot of people, I mean, I love a sausage sandwich, baby. Yes, I do. But one of the things we don't like is we don't like leaving the sandwich toaster on the blinking worktop because there's another kitchen gadget at the end of the day. Oh, and it's, I've got to clean it. I don't and want it's it. the assault of cleaning it as well. That's which horrible. Is a blinking nuisance as well. So hopefully you can just press away, make these little things as well, and then just throw them in the air fryer and cook them for about five minutes. And Bob's your auntie's mother. No, is that wrong, isn't it? What is it? Bob's, Bob's your, your uncle. Bob's your, Bob's your, Bob's your uncle. Know, Bob. Fanny's your aunt, isn't it? No, but Bob's your uncle. I know that. But Bob is your mother's brother. In other words, Bob's your uncle. Oh, it's Bob's your uncle and Fanny's well, your aunt. Well, I don't know Fanny Sharon. Well, they say we're like Fanny and Johnny's. So Fanny and Johnny like Craddock. <laughs> Unbelievable. So That's we're going to be it. we're going to be trying that on a dedicated Fanny. video, and also trying it with normal bread as well because we. Go and get the thins, Sharon. Go and show them what the thins are. They and know what they thins might not are. Know. Well, I didn't know what they were, Sharon. You don't do shopping a lot. Well, you do I do do shopping. I've done the yeah, shopping for you the other day. Yes, I went out and done the shopping, folks. I don't know what shopping is. And in fact, we do, when we do go shopping, we buy near enough the same stuff every week. And I know exactly what we got. And I come home and she says, oh, yeah, that's just what we normally get. I'm there with her. I didn't know what these were, folks. Come on, baby, show them what a thin is. Warburton's make them. And apparently they're 100 calories, is it 100 calories each? Because they're so small. But when you open them up, should we take one out and show them? We'll just show you it anyway. Go on, take oh one yeah, out. it's just here, peeled and resealed from oh, fresh. I, did, I didn't know that either. We've never bought these before, folks. That cost one pound fifty. One pound thirty in Sainsbury's. Get down, Merlin. <laughs> in Sainsbury's. Yeah, one pound thirty. And one pound fifty in the co-op. Yeah, well, that's what I said, one pound fifty, Chef. So if you hold that, see, that's, that, that's a thin, folks. And they actually come pre-cut, like that sort of thing, yeah? And what you do is, you hold that top, baby. You hold the top of the crimper. You basically place that on there like that. They're actually designed for these, as you can see. And then you push it in. I'm not going to do it, because we're going to do it on the dedicated video. Put your filling in, and then put the top on, and then put that on, and then squeeze it together, and it crimps it like a little pastry, or a patty, or whatever. And you can put sweet or savoury in there. And we're going to be knocking out a few. I'm going to knock one out, shall I, later? Do it on your own. Eh? Go on your own and do it. And we'll knock a few out, actually. And uh, we'll, we'll have a go in a dedicated Got video. And, <laughs> and we'll have a go. <laughs> uh, you're throwing me, Sharon. I can't get it back in. You're throwing, you can't get it back in the hole, can you? Unbelievable. Someone said it's like watching a Carry On film sometimes with the innuendo. Oh, I love them. They're my favourite films. What, you I with? love Carry On Screaming is my favourite. You like, you like a scream, don't you? Anyway, <gasps> folks, we're going to leave it here now because I say we've got loads to do today, and I want to now. I want to get. I want to. I want to get this guy. It's got what? Below the belt. It's getting below the belt. <laughs> Unbelievable. We better go. Right, let's hold that. Let's you hold go. that as a little gift for you there. Thank you very much again to all yes, the new subscribers. You. Hope you do enjoy our channel. I've also got to thank one person that added their name to the list. Project oh, Man. Oh, Project Man, Sharon. I had a list. Where's your list there? I've got rid of it. Of course it you in. have. You've got rid of everything, Sharon. He, he done his writing identical as his dad, so I could read it. We out. read the list of paper and he's wrote. Because he's outside work. Just... He's outside working on his camper How van, you Sharon. Project Man. Oh, and... here he is. He, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's there. Satan. Oh, look, he's coming out of the workshop. Look, what are you doing in my workshop again, Project Man? As you can see, Project Man. Well, what? Tops on, they are available. Oh yeah, so oh yeah, bat, bat, bat so merchandise. Ask about it. Project Man's missus, Stacy, she does all the merchandise. All what you see here in front of us, she does all the printing for the merchandise. And a lot of people say, where do we get the merchandise from? You can get it on eBay, folks. We haven't got any of them Teespring shops and all that. They're all way too expensive. Uh, or contact Gary. No, ain't got to do that, shall they? Just go on eBay. Oh, they can type in Project okay. Man. No, I mean. Go on eBay. Go on eBay. You ain't got to contact the individual people. Everyone knows eBay. When you go on eBay, there's a search bar there, isn't there? Type in Project Man T-shirt. You'll find his stuff. Type in Butler's Empire T-shirt. You'll what find that. You? you find it. Type in Retro Restore T-shirt, and then you'll find his wife's shop, Project Man's missus, and then you'll be able to find our merchandise. And it's a lot cheaper than that Teespring stuff, isn't it? Yeah. And it's made at home. Oh, oh look what we dug out of the, the polytunnel, folks. See, you go again. Hey? What do you mean we dug out? Well, we dug out. I was going to give it to you, but you don't want it. 
Let's show you, folks. Look at that. I know, look. We haven't used it for years. We used to go to the beach with it, shall we? In fact, that's five pounds better than the one I've got. Well, take it out, shall we? Call it a gift. Take that out. And I did buy... Oh, we've got a little kettle there. Well, look. Happy days. I did buy this thing brand new, believe it or not. Why has it got flames on it? This is a Coleman Damn, it? fuel thing. It's quite dear, this was at the time, shall we? It's an unleaded... Hold on, let's get me a transier bottle out. Look. That's a fuel bottle, a special fuel bottle. What's under this? Coffee, salt, Coffee, pepper. salt and pepper. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's been in there for years, isn't it? Oh, all of it. Hey, look, 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 look. What are these? Coffees. Coffees, cafe, coffee, coffee. Open that up, look. This thing, oh, I say, it's only had a couple of times usage. Three or four, no, about three or four times usage. And this takes, uh, yeah, I know, that's all right, Shad. Don't worry about that. This takes uh, fuel, petrol, normal petrol. And you pump that little thing up, and then you've got two gas burners there, and this was actually quite good. But I think it needs resealing now, so I'll probably end up selling that anyway. We don't use that one anymore. And uh, someone else will probably restore that, or reseal it, and service it. That's all it wants is a service, basically. So, yeah, I've got this old um, army thing. Look, that come from um, auction. I think I bought that at auction for about two quid, I think, many years ago. So we got that as well. But uh, we took a, tr a tent up to Tracy. In, a, in the car when we went up there. Let's put that back in there. Is that going to shut? Yeah. So, yeah, we took a tent, a sixth berth tent up to Tracy. And uh, I think they're going to go camping and all that. So, it'll be handy for them to have that, that box anyway. The box won't give them the stove. It's them little ones we got are better ones, actually, I think, anyway. So, anyway, yeah, we're going to go, folks. Let's go and get Sharon to finish the video off properly. Here we are, folks, back in the kitchen. So, yeah, thanks very much, literally, for the bottom of our heart. For all the new subscribers we've gained over quite a short period of time. I hope you're really enjoying the videos. And do check out our other playlists on our channel. As I say, we've got an air fryer playlist, normal cooking reviews, we've got family vlogs, uh, all this sort of stuff. And as, as you probably well know, if you're watching this on a Sunday, the, the, the video goes out, goes out, baby, at eight o'clock on a Sunday evening. And there's a live chat box there where you can chat with me and her, my little wife, my baby. Baby. Yeah, baby. She don't mind being called baby. She calls no. me baby. A lot of people say, why do you call her baby? I don't know. I don't know. There's, baby. there's a lot of worse things that I call you baby, isn't there? She has done before. Anyway, thank you very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye-bye. Bye for now. Come on, baby. Get the kettle on. <laughs>